so uh, I won't introduce myself, but uh, I'm the next slot here and I'll make my comments brief. Um, I'm re we're really pleased, uh, Ready Wireless is, to be here at this conference. We made a commitment to Laura Wan uh, about two years ago, two and a half years ago in the U.S. So for my European colleagues, uh, we're way behind. Um, you all have had experience with this for some time. I thought Dario did a wonderful job of laying out some of the benefits in terms of sustainability and in terms of uh, the leverage that LoRaWAN provides in competition or in substitute from other technologies. You think about lower battery consumption, you think about the information that we can harvest efficiently for uh, our customers and uh, what that unlocks. Um, let's see here's next, there we go. Um, I won't, this is a busy slide. We've been in business since uh, 20, uh, 2006 and uh, we've primarily focused in the wireless space, working with MNOs on the cellular side. And as I mentioned, transitioned and pivoted 100% into IoT and, and mainly in LoRaWAN over the past five or six years in terms of the uh, positioning and the, the official pivot was about three years ago. Um, our position in the ecosystem is really fulfilling. Um, I describe our business as a foot deep and a mile wide. We uh, seek to, to help uh, bring, uh, you know, meet the, the industry where the rubber meets the road. So we in the United States, and this will be a very uh, US centric uh, uh, conversation. So I apologize if uh, that's not of interest to you, but uh, for, from our perspective, uh, there are many opportunities for businesses to leverage the benefits of IoT and specifically LoRaWAN, uh, being that it's new, um, it's challenging. We have an ecosystem full of makers who are absolutely innovative and creating terrific solutions to problems. And we have channel partners who have great conversations with or great relationships with their customers. Um, what, what we seek to do is uh, provide a path for easy, as easy as possible anyway, commercialization of those innovative solutions. So our premise is that for the average solution provider, it's just too hard. Uh, you need to braid together the device and the connectivity and the user interface. And uh, we have many examples of, uh, of makers out there. Um, this is one example I'm holding in my hand at LoRaWAN label that is able to uh, log temperature. It has uh, a payload or a battery budget of 50,050 chirps. And the innovation that went into this was significant. Now this is so game changing that the maker's probably not going to have too much trouble uh, getting interest in the market. There are other examples uh, such as a uh, grease trap monitor that monitors the, the fats, oil and grease in grease traps. Who cares about that? Well, we all should. A restaurant creates this uh, this fat, oil, and uh, and grease. It goes into a grease trap, which is designed to keep it out of the water supply. Uh, if it gets into the water supply, it impacts water quality, but also it creates uh, just like uh, too much cholesterol in your arteries. It creates clogs in the uh, water main system, and then that creates additional work, additional. Uh, deployment of resources that could be used elsewhere to fix streets and to fix water mains, etc. Um, from our perspective, what we seek to do is avoid the dance that happens. Um, if a company or a city or any organization wanted to create uh, solution A through F, so six solutions, traditionally they have to. Traditionally, they'll end up talking to uh, a, a combination of six different service providers or six different solution sources. And when they get done with the process, they look like this poor chap at the desk with six different user interfaces and six different relationships that they have to manage. And often the data is not tied together, so it's all in silos. I know there are many companies that seek to address this issue and we're one of those. So for our, uh, for our makers, we offer to make, uh, bring them access for the device makers. We bring them access to the U.S. market. We work with uh, many channel partners. There are about 15, 16,000 uh, salespeople on the street that don't work for us. They work for other companies that are properly aligned with our mission to talk about these solutions out into the market. 
So what does that mean in terms of sustainability and how we can leverage the ability to, um, uh, to, to uh, leverage IoT? There are some simple solutions. Um, you think about a uh, use case like uh, uh, tank level monitoring. So uh, a large truck goes and services and fills up liquid petroleum. And that truck costs about six or seven US dollars per mile to operate, consumes a large amount of uh, fuel on the way in, emits a ton of CO2. And if that distributor just knew the fill level of those tanks, they would reduce their mileage. Our data indicates they can reduce their trips by as much as 40% by that simple monitoring technique. It's really gratifying to be in the middle of that to speak with device makers and then speak with customers and talk about the ability for those customers to be able to leverage those benefits. And um, I don't know if we're all that unique, but it's especially pronounced in the US. The financial motive means everything. Um, our governments are not as progressive. And so initiatives that are designed to improve well being or improve uh, ecology or conserve resources, generally they're well met, but they're difficult to fund often. So when there's a commercial motive, such as an LP distributor, or a city government can reduce the number of miles driven or the amount of fuel consumed to go in empty trash bins or refill LP containers, then that's a, uh, a, very, uh, a very positive impact on the environment. So uh, kind of my take home message in terms of sustainability and in terms of making an impact is um, there are many, many big ideas uh, addressing forest fires, addressing uh, uh, the, the loss of glaciers, global warming. Also, we're playing an excellent role that I think we should all be proud of just commercially creating efficiency because efficiency in the end always means using fewer resources. And in the end, there's a dividend for that, creating the opportunity for that return on investment to become evident is our mission. And we are absolutely um, uh, aligned toward that. In addition to our own solutions, we also uh, provide enablement services. So. Uh, this is a bit of an advertisement, and I apologize if it seems crass, but we uh, are very interested and willing to enable other solution providers, enable other device manufacturers to get their solutions, their inventions, their innovation into the market in the U.S. And we're not the only one, but uh, we're here and we're ready. So that concludes uh, my presentation.